We are the future leaders of tomorrow. So the, 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 the sooner we realize that and put our feet down, fight for ourselves, the better for all of us. You watch these girls get raped by the Arabs for nothing. Because of your greed and selfishness. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinta and if you're new here, make sure you hit on the subscribe button and also like this video. So, um, before I continue with this video, I would like for you guys to um, go watch the part one of this video because this is a part two. So that way you can have like a clear understanding of what this video is all about and why I am doing this video, okay? So, my message is to the Gambian government. Gambian government, the Gambian people are sick and tired of your incompetence. We have Gambian girls stuck in Lebanon. And finally, they have an opportunity to be back home, to reunite with their families that they have not seen for years and years and years. Because of what? They've been stuck in Lebanon and they've been treated like slaves. They are into slavery. They have been abused physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you guys are going to sit there and prevent them from coming back home. What for? What for? Gambian government, if you don't know how to protect your own, let the ones that are doing the job do it in peace. The truth is that you guys have been exposed. The truth is out. It's all over social media. We know what you guys are doing. We know you don't care about these girls. You only care when it is your family. If this was someone, uh, maybe the president's uh, niece or nephews or something, or the minister's nephews or niece or daughters, do you think anybody is going to have to beg you? Do you think we're going to have to make these videos? Stop the hypocrisy. We don't have time for it. Bring back Gambian girls. I don't care. I don't care who took them there. I don't care if they wanted to go there by themselves. I don't care if they are the ones that put themselves in that situation, but it is your responsibility to take care of those girls. It is your responsibility to make sure they come back to the Gambian soil. That is where they belong. And you are put in that position to fulfill those promises. This is one of them. Love it and her NGO managed to buy a ticket, which most of it might be her own money. Something that you guys cannot do. Over a million dollars. Over a million dollars is not dollars. It's dollars. We know you guys got the money. We know you can do it because you've been spending money on stupid things. You've been spending money on unnecessary things, things that don't even benefit us. Things that we, the citizens, don't even see. You've been spending money on them. Spending money on silly campaigns. But you can't spend money to bring your people from Arab countries. You see Arab people, how they treat us, uh, us in, our own country, in our own country. Oh yes, you know about it and you say it. If you work for an Arab person, you know what, that, uh, uh, what I'm talking about. I have never worked for an Arab person, but people that work for them know how they get treated. So do you think if they're treating your people like that in our own country, what do you think they're going to treat them like in Lebanon? Slavery is an understatement. Our girls wants to come back home and Gambia, we do not need your inter uh, interference anymore because why plans have already been made somebody else have have paid is ready to pay for the ticket went online and you are going to block them and stop them from paying in the name of you are going to pay for it why didn't you do it all these years why didn't you do it all these past months why didn't you do it after seeing all these videos we are tired of the hypocrisy 
Gambians are tired of the hypocrisy. And if you are in any social media platform and you have a voice, you have a good platform, it's your responsibility also to post something like this, to make sure the world is aware of what is going on in the Gambia. And I know, I know perfectly well that right now they are ashamed. That's why they will not let Lovett pay for those tickets. But the truth is that the fact is already exposed. The truth has been exposed. You guys can't do nothing about it. Whether you pay for the ticket or you prevent her from paying for the ticket, everybody knows what the truth is. Let her do her job. And maybe from there, you guys can learn your mistakes and do better next time. But this time, it's too late. I understand that they have been, uh, they updated it, saying that the girls are now coming back home. I don't know, but I don't trust it until we see the girls back home. And if these girls don't come to Gambia at the time Lovett wanted them to come to Gambia, you guys will be in trouble. Because Gambians will not just sit and fold their hands and watch you treat us like, like we're nothing. You guys were not put in those positions to eat money and do what you want to do anytime, anyhow, and anywhere. You guys were there to fulfill promises of the Gambian people. Promises that you made to the Gambian people. You guys were there. How much exactly are you guys getting from the Lebanese government? Because as far as I'm concerned, there has to be something. Human trafficking has been going on for a long time. Gambian girls, African girls have been in these Arab countries. They've been trafficked to these Arab countries for years and years and years. Other governments try to bring back their people. Gambian government cannot even boast of bringing five people to the Gambia? My goodness. Sometimes I wonder what kind of people we voted for. Sometimes I wonder why we have to suffer like this. No improvement on youth development. No improvement on trying to protect your people. All we see your interest in is campaigning to win the next election or tourism. Gambians, do not sit and watch Lovett's video and say Ndeysan, Yanye de Fluba. Oh, thank you so much, Lovett. Oh, the, get up and do your own part. She cannot do it by herself. She has tried her best, but they are trying to block her. Gambians, get up and save yourselves. And before I forget, when you go to these comment sections, like you see people saying that these girls do this to themselves. Why did they go to these Arab countries? Honey, they came to the, uh, they went to the Arab countries just like you and I came to America. You and I came to Europe. You and I go to any other African country. They did not go to be treated like slaves. They did not go to be trampled on like they're nothing. They did not go to be abused and raped by the Arabs. They went for a better life. So instead of sit and blame these girls, I think what we should do is try to get them back first. Because this just looks like me coming to America and being abused by Americans or the American government and my people are going to sit and say, oh, I went there by myself. Who asked me to go? Let us stop the hypocrisy and hate. Let us support our own. Because if this was any other person's or the government officials, family members, nobody would be begging you to be out there. If this was you as a Gambian that is watching, if this was someone who is your family member, nobody would be begging you to protest. Nobody would be speaking for you on social media. Nobody would do it. So let us treat these girls like we are from the same womb because we are the, from the same Gambia. They are our brothers and sisters. And you guys know how small Gambia is. Everybody is connected. Everybody is related in some kind of way. Just because you don't know someone doesn't mean that you're not related in Gambia. We're barely 2 million people. We all know each other. We're all related to each other. So let us stop the hypocrisy because what you will not do to your own, you shouldn't do it to another. The Gambian government has failed its people 
and I don't expect the people to fail themselves. This has nothing to do with politics. Stop, stop connecting or um, associating important issues with politics. It has nothing to do with politics. Nobody is bashing any political party. I am not a politician, but the truth has to be spoken and Gambia needs to be liberated from such people that we put in our leadership positions. Stand up and fight for yourself. Get out and protest. And if you are not Gambian government, if you will not let people protest, damn the coronavirus. This is more important than coronavirus. Because if you came from the same um, bloodline with these people, you would rather save them than think about what coronavirus is going to give to you. If they don't even care about COVID-19, if they don't even put precautions that they were supposed to do, put in place with COVID-19, what makes you think they're going to care about uh, the girls in Lebanon? I'm not surprised. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Lebanese people, if you are working for a Lebanese person, everybody that is working for a Lebanese person, it's about time you guys fight for your rights and refuse to be treated like slaves in your own country. Boycott their jobs. How many Lebanese people are in Gambia? How many foreigners are in Gambia that are going to work for Lebanese people? The only people you see working for the Lebanese is mostly Gambians. So, so if you step your feet down and fight for yourself, you will not only be respected in your country, but you will even have better pay. This is the time to fight for your rights. Your dignity, pride, and self-esteem is more important than anything in this war. Let us stop the hate on victims. The blame we put on victims. This is wrong. And also, do not trust anything that you see on the government social media platforms. Because it is most likely not truthful. So if you want to see, if you want to get updates on what is going on in Lebanon and what is going on with those girls, I would advise you go to Lovett's Facebook page or there's another government activist, Fatou Janj. She is a survivor. She came back from Lebanon. She's an activist and she's a survivor of human trafficking. Go to their pages and you will be updated every single day of what is going on and what plans they have. I'm going to make sure I leave their links down below. So don't hesitate to click on it and follow their pages to be updated. We are sick and tired of an incompetent government, period. You ask why these girls travel, why they went to the Arab countries, thanks to you, the government, because you failed them. If you had created opportunities for them to stay back home, they would not be going to any other Arab country. The young people, we are the future leaders of tomorrow. So the, 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 the sooner we realize that and put our feet down, fight for ourselves, the better for all of us. Also, there is a petition. Please, if you watch this video, I want you to sign that petition to bring back our girls home and stop human trafficking in Gambia. There are Gambians themselves that are involved in this human trafficking and they need to be prosecuted. No one person, no one person that has been involved in these issues have been prosecuted. This is wrong. This is wrong. And you guys know that these people are walking freely in the Gambia and you don't want to do anything about it. You watch these girls lose their kidneys for nothing. You watch these girls get raped by the Arabs for nothing. Because of your greed and selfishness. Me to a remote area and the hospital was not even 
I don't know the doctor that removed me, but he was not even qualified because the way he operated me and the way the operation got septic, I could not even, you know, by that time, if you put your four fingers in my stomach, it would enter because of the way wow. it is. Wow. Let's wow. share the picture with you as well. Yeah. No, send it to me and I will post it for sure. Yeah. Send it to me, I'll post it. And did, did that after the operation, is that how you came back to sweet to, to Gambia? How did they get you back to Gambia? No. Nobody got me back. My parents have to send money for me to pay my air ticket and with all that I have to undergo another three months in prison to pay all the debt that is the Ikama and everything. I have to pay all the three years I spent outside out of contract. I have to pay to their government. I have to pay about $2,000 to them. And I have to buy my own plane tickets, which I did. And I have to pay other taxes too as well to regain yeah. my passport and other documents for me to, for them to allow me to come back to Gambia. But yeah. I, that is the way I came back to Gambia. And it was a surprise to my, my parents don't even know that I was traveling because I decided being an only child of my mom, I decided to hide things on my own, make her believe that I was doing okay when I was going through a lot of things, but I didn't want it to inform her because knowing how the affection of the mother and the daughter, especially an only child, how it feels. Yeah. So I decided yeah. to just cope with the situation and be on my own. My mom did not know that I have one kidney till last year. Wow. Till last year when she just burns on me coming out of the toilet and just told me, have you been operated? What for? So at the present moment, I could not lie to her anymore. I just have to open up to her and tell her what was yeah. going on. But yeah. at that present moment, my mom decided to, my mom had an attack again because of what she felt I went through. And the, what happened to Dauda, who who trafficked you? What happened to Dauda? I want to know, is he still in Gambia? Because you were not the only girl he did this to. Well, Dauda is walking freely at the uh, streets of the Gambia because the last time I went to Nazi to report the case, yeah. they came with Dauda. They came with doubt. They brought the culprit to me, asking and forcing me to get into the car because they wanted me to lead them to my house so that they can go and ask my parents if doubt that really trafficked me, which I refused. Oh. Yeah. You you cannot bring you cannot bring the perpetrator and ask me to get into that car. Mm, no. To him. No. To him to lead to the house. So at that present moment, I terminate every report I did with nothing because I felt like they are still exposing me to danger. Yes, they are. They are. I had to give myself some minutes. I cried. The Venice person in the embassy? You need to get rid of him first. And Gambian men, this is the time your people need you. Get out and fight for yourself. Get out and fight for your women. That's just what I wanted to say. And thank you for watching. <laughs>